What's up, y'all? So, um, I gotta make this video about Carmen and Corey little situation over here and that boy, uh, what's that boy name? But what's the boy name with, uh, oh, Prime? Michi. Yeah, Michi. Yeah. Michi, y'all. Y'all know Michi. So, I've been watching the T channel Michi, and all so crazy this. TV. Shout out to So Crazy TV, too. I guess shout out to So Crazy TV. But either way, I've been watching on TV, them T channels and Tea room, all them little people who be posting their little videos, you know what I'm saying? But they've been missing a lot of cute, like, main points, you feel me? So I'm going to have to go ahead and speak up. But anyways, Carmen, 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 Carmen. How dare you, Carmen? How dare you? Let me talk to you, sis. Let me talk to you. First of all, we're going to jump in with the fact that you are an immigrant. You are a immigrant friend. I ain't know that. Where, where that come from? When did this come about? I thought you was like, what, what, what? The other girl be saying that she like Puerto Rican? Did you you tell us she was Puerto Rican? Did, I think you told me that, but I'm not sure. But either way, I just thought you was like somewhere in the okay era. The okay meaning like you was like legal. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know. You you y'all had to escape, run away, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what was the problem, but if I was in that situation, I would have did it too. You know what I'm saying? I would have been an immigrant too if I was born over there. I had to get the fuck from around. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on, but the fact is, how dare you look over that? And the fact of knowing your situation, okay, and y'all whole upcoming process of coming about. You know what I'm saying? See, this is what we be talking about. In a fact, though, he had answered the phone. I had to make sure I ain't too loud. But this is the, what we be talking about. In a fact, of people let the money change them and forget. In a fact, of literally where they come from, literally where they come from, and who you really are. You know what I'm saying? Because I see a lot of people like bring other people yeah. up, and then that person treat them like crazy oh, or whatever, yeah, or. Even if the person didn't bring the other person up, they both came up on their own, like, Everybody came up, and then one person turned green, turned crazy, like, what in the world is going on? You know what I'm saying? Because you don't let this money go to your mind and think, like, oh, you just don't need nobody. You good. You can just go over here, provide for yourself. You don't have to. Cool. Okay. But is that healthy for your soul, your spirit, for who you are yourself? You know what I'm saying? You're running away from facing your problems, you know what I'm saying? Instead of that communication, you know what I'm saying? Because from what I see between Carmen and Corey, it's just a little lack of genuine, like, true communication of what's really needed of their own, like, personal self-love, you know what I'm saying? Because... Just talk about it. Just talking about it and then expressing that. You will come to understand, like, okay, this and that. Because I only see Carmen when got a BBL when they first got a little money, like, popping right. You know what I'm saying? It was like, I was so happy for them because I used to see them all in the house. house together. So when that lady came out putting them receipts out about, uh, what's his name, Prime and kiana j and all them right over there you know what i'm saying but she couldn't really say nothing though, like kiana because kiana came with her platform and prime was with kiana. either way fuck all that um like i was saying corey is a man that's willing to be in his kid's life and for carmen to hold them little boys away from him that is some horrible stuff horrible like how dare you how dare you friend you need to like get over your woman feelings get out pull your big woman panties up friend like this is some little girl action tactics like at all because you really just hurting your kids and i feel so sad for the little baby boys they want to see their dad like clearly and only because the way you feel you just want to use your power and position against the guy with the kids don't use the kids as the weapon like come on now you can use your own hands you got hands and feet you ain't see that nigga put hands on if that's the case. You know what I'm saying? Like, God, leave. But Corey, 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 you over here with the fact of talking like cursed dog. What you thought was going to happen? What you thought was going to happen? You talking like that and she over there talking the way she talk. Every time y'all get in situations, she going to the internet exposing it, like really talking like 
too much information of y'all personal life and then have to turn back around. So much shit she played on your ass, bro. It's like, I don't even know where to start with that. But my thing is, why would you, Carmen, break up with the man and the position y'all in, what y'all built up to be, and think it'd be okay to go and get in a house to go against other females for Michi? That's what I was like really blown out my head for. I was so disappointed in you, Carmen. I was like, this is wrong. This is horrible, disgusting. Like, you a whole married woman with two kids, with a whole everything laid, paid, everything. Girl, you got all that. And you want to go get in a house and play around, like, for days. And your kids somewhere over there, like, feelings, thoughts, all wandering around. You think they not? Like, what? How you think they not? And for me to speak on it, it's the outside looking in. Like, what do you think we see? We don't see them kids. Well, if we see you and we don't see the kids, you know what I'm saying? And the video, however the video lasting, yeah, you probably left the house, traveled somewhere, came back. You would look, that was a little too comfortable. Same shit they were talking about, Christian Rock over there at the damn live-in jailhouse with Kai. And they're like, she just had a baby. Where's the baby? And Kyle was saying the baby was there. But either way, I feel the same way about Carmen. Like, hold on. This is too much, friend. This is you all over the place. You don't know what to do. I feel like you're just trying to stay in the limelight to keep your name popping, where you keep you up to where you're going to, like, keep the content type stuff when how the way you're going to go about it, just hang out in the streets and who you know to go hang out with was Kiana and the other girl and them type of people because that's where y'all was last you know what i'm saying you ain't veer off to go find new people after y'all broke up you went to the people you already knew y'all and you and Corey had little problems and said little things about like y'all had your own little things like you know we're gonna stay over here mind our business like you wouldn't fuck y'all wouldn't fuck with no people but as soon as you broke y'all broke up you over the with prime and kiana and all this and all that type so y'all look it wasn't like that. Come on now, friend. But we see it. I see it. I know they see it too, but everybody want to look over the fact and make it seem like, oh, Carmen living her best life and Corey hating. He's still mad, sad, all that right there. If anything, that man mad about his damn kids and the fact of how the internet is really taking it. And if, you know, like, he just wrong and doing all this and doing all that. He's talking to the girl that looked just like Carmen and all this and all that. From all this other junk that been hitting out the allegations about King with Cor with Carmen and how Corey did not go to the internet to bring explain all that and to put her in his vibe, you know, of this light of oh my God, she really hurt me type shit. Like Carmen did Corey when he had that girl with the baby allegations and shit like that and she's sitting on the camera like, Y'all just don't understand. I'm just hurt and da 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 I love Corey. He did all this back and forth type of stupid shit. Like, why are you even engaging in that, doing that? You're seeking for some type of stupid ass re attention. And clearly, it just, what the fuck? Like, why would you make these decisions, friend? You know you was the immigrant type shit. So now you want to not, you want to get a divorce, but not to get a divorce. You want to get separated and be like, Corey should respect the fact that not, I don't know. Because did y'all sign papers yet? Because I ain't see no papers signed. Because if he signed the papers, do that mean you fully uh, immigrant? Or did he save the immigrant, immigrant thing because y'all got married? So now you ain't have to get deployed type shit. You ain't have to get back pushed back across the water. Or was or was the fact of like, you know, now y'all getting divorced and he going to be like, the police people going to come after you now. I don't know. I don't know. But... I was like, dang, I was over here like, dang, maybe she got to go get with Michi and hope Michi going to be that guy, you know what I'm saying? But Michi like, bro, I thought it was me and you. I didn't think it was going to be me, you, and the kids. You know what I'm saying? I, then again, Michi probably was like, I was hoping for a relationship. I wasn't trying to get married off of real. You know what I'm saying? Now she got a backpack. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. But Carmen, at this point, you probably just need to go back to your, your city. Go on back over there to your country town. Make us content from over there. So you ain't gotta worry about if people gonna come and like get you. You can say they ain't come get me. I love. <laughs> you can say that for a save yourself now. If you see that there ain't nobody gonna come come through for your friend, just deuces. You feel me? But at the same time, 
it is crazy. It's crazy. Like you played yourself and then you made yourself look crazier, worse. And the tea channel people would just make it seem like, oh, I'm so happy, proud of you, girl. You're the one over there, sad, lonely, depressed, and all that. When you could have just had a conversation, took that shit to the chin for whatever, however it was. You know you was wrong. You got caught cheating. You sending pictures to his yo, his best friend, all that right there. You thinking, I don't know what you was thinking because you know what you came from. You know what you came from when you're going. So what you thought you were going to be making these, like, this man cannot make his own decision to not want to be with you no more. Like, I don't understand this. And for you think the internet is going to make him look bad, however, however. That's just internet. When he get off the phone, that's it. He's still living his life. And you still, he going to find plenty of other women look just as good as you or better. And all this other stuff. When you could have just took the time out and take self-accountability and... Acknowledge the fact of whatever, however, you know, some maybe you probably need to put that bottle down too. Cause at one point I seen you drinking a little too much where you ain't, you was in the side, you was going back for, you didn't know what you really want having, was having up for, what and up for, all that right though. And then with the fact of you not being with the kids, like you not being with your own kids, man, this is something, this is something all out the water, out the water. And the whole thing is you with the black community. Like, you over here with the black community, you aiming for, like, black friends, you feel me? And you're doing things that would be labeled, like, what would that other word fucking be? But either way, when this, friend, you're ghetto. You're ghetto at this point. That's some ghetto shit. What the fuck is you out here doing? Where even a black woman has to look at you and say, you done came over here and showed your ass. You done came over here and showed your natural ass. You done found the man that's willing to accept you for you. You could you wasn't talking clear English. You probably had, you know what I'm saying, laughed it off with you. However it was. You know your own flaws. Accept that shit, friend. We all got them. It's okay. But at the same time, don't overlook that shit like... You're not out here with what you're doing, friend. Them arms still big back there. I don't give a fuck how much you done cut off. You know what I'm saying? That body still shaped the way it is. Now, if I was that girl over there in prime house when she kept talking to you, talking about fight me, fight me, but I would have latched on your ass only for the sake of Corey. Only for the sake of Corey and you over here in this black community like you vibe like that. But you ain't vibing like that, friend. Come on now, get real. You really not vibing like that, Carmen. But we love you. We love your personality. We love the fact of you, like, you accept black people. You accept all people. You know what I'm saying? You was all, like, imp hype, all that. You know what I'm saying? I love the fact that Carmen was, you know, willing to do that. Do her little razzle-dazzle. She had a little seasoning. That's, what's what, that's what it was. She had a little seasoning. But anyways, um, this is my little video, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And, um... What I was going to say, hope Corey can get, you know, justice with his kids. I really want, because like you said, I'm cheering without a daddy in the home. They grow up gay. They grow up gay. They be mentally confused, disturbed, all that right there. They ain't got all them thoughts and emotions. Not all, but a lot. Oh, and I ain't going to say all people. Just a lot of them. But not everybody. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like, regardless, um, them little boys going to have a great life to know they're gonna come and find their daddy they're gonna be them little boys gonna come find their daddy and carmen gonna be sitting over the building somewhere still looking crazy still looking crazy don't want to know the fat type stuff and make it seem like do the whatever she got in her area that's just what it is no 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 you you gonna be over here with that bull friend don't do that don't do that you just go on here me your own because all that and then how you doing meet you right now carmen how dare you you know you laid that man on you know you laid that man on you 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 told him you really trying to get do that however and same thing or whatever however just because some shit wasn't going your way how you thought i don't know friend i don't know what it is really but it's not looking good and it's very disappointing to see how far you came and what you was willing to do when things got to a point that it did you know what I'm saying? Because that was uncalled for. It was very inappropriate for a mother, a wife, and and that sort. Because 
as much money you got, as much things you got going on, you, we shouldn't be seeing you in no house with all them other girls that's trying to build a platform, that's trying to, like, we was like, I was like, oh my God, the disgrace. I, it was damn near like looking at these nails. It was like looking at these nails. It was like, what is that? Ew, disgrace. I am just, I'm finna take these off too right now. I can't. Mm. But anyway, y'all, that's my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's pray for Carmen and send hope for uh, the boys and what's his name, Corey. And I hope Michi can find the girl of his dreams. Can't forget about poor little Michi out there. You know, he was still aiming and trying to get it. Now, why in the hell you out here aiming for a married woman? You going to get what you asking for. You going you gonna to over there saying you going to get you a little a woman and a nigga going to be aiming at your lady and she going to be fully married to you and she going to, next thing you know, it's going to be a little sporty guy thinking he hot shit and you know what I'm saying, your lady giving her attention to and you're going to see how that shit feels type shit. But either way, yeah, I'll be back with another video.